Okay, so what I've done here is I measured out the floor, the raft, and I made a diagram with all the measurements. It's eight feet long. The floor of the raft exactly eight feet. The plywood is exactly eight feet. Use the chalk line, divide it in half, and I went along the edge, marking one foot, two foot, three, all the way up, and along the other side, and I use that to do a chalk line for every foot, so now it looks just like my diagram, and near the top, when I did the measurements, I went every foot all the way up until I got here. See that prow or whatever the front part of the boat is called? It's a little bit rounded out. So I did a few measurements every couple of inches. Seven, seven feet here, 80 inches, 87, 90, 93 inches, which is not labeled. And I put the Not the full width, the half width. I measured, right? Then I used the chalk lines to do the measurements, right? So the chalk lines are straight. So from the center, at six feet, I'm going 16 inches out, 16 inches out. I measured it like that. Use the big long ruler to make sure it was straight across. Everything looks pretty straight to me. Um, near the corner, I've got this thing going on. But the back of the uh, raft is rounded out. And I, t um, I took a very large measurement, so I, l I, I expected it to have a little bit of a corner. And you can just cut that off with the juke solid. You can see all my marks on the raft. So once I marked out the, the width of each interval, I took a ruler and I connected the dots. So you can see the front kind of has the shape the raft there. See it's got a bit of a curve. I'm not worried about getting it exact. I'm going to jigsaw that. Try to make it a little bit round, but I'm probably going to have to sand the edges off a little bit. So the front, you know, right here, Having a flat end may not be so bad. I mean, the front end of the ear isn't perfectly flat, right? So we might end up, you know, having to jigsaw a few little corners and edges off, which is fine. I'd rather have to cut off a few of the edges and, you know, trim it and sand it a little bit rather than cut it and make it too small and ruin the whole sheet of plywood. So this is half inch thick plywood. I think it might be might be a little thin. I'm not like a big fat guy to be sitting in this boat, but I went with half inch because I wanted to keep building materials light. Thought maybe going bigger than this would make the raft floor a little too heavy.